Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Miss Kathy from Flamingo Gardens and even though Flamingo Gardens is closed due to the coronavirus, we're still here for you, bringing you our Explore the Outdoors While Stuck Indoors, an A to Z series. Today we are at C. So we've thought of a lot of things that begin with C. Have you been thinking of things that begin with C that we might find around here? Today, we are thinking about the cacao tree, the crested caracara, the common gallinule, and cats. Come, let's explore. Who likes chocolate? I do. C is for chocolate. Do you know where chocolate comes from? Trees, just like the one I'm standing in front of. But it's not called a chocolate tree, it's called a cacao tree. Cacao trees can grow in Florida because they need a hot, humid climate, just like we have. And chocolate doesn't grow on a tree ready to eat like apples and oranges do. Chocolate starts from these seed pods right here. Inside are the cacao seeds. It takes a long time to make chocolate. It's a long process. First, those seeds have to be dried, they need to be roasted and they need to be fermented before they are crushed into the cocoa powder. And then we can make chocolate. Let's see what it looks like inside one of those seed pods. We've cut open one of the cacao seed pods so you could see the seeds inside. They look a lot different than the annatto seeds that we saw the other day. These seeds are larger and they're kind of fleshy with a pulp around them. Did you ever know that this is where the chocolate that you eat comes from? This is how it all begins. I hope you all enjoyed learning about where chocolate comes from. Now let's check out some animals that begin with the letter C. Hi everybody, welcome to Flamingo Gardens. My name's Kara, I'm one of the keepers here, and I'm here with my friend Kara, the crested Kara Kara. In the wild, they do eat dead things like Charon found on that side of the road. They also use those really long legs to walk around cow fields and pastures, flipping over rocks, digging up holes, finding snakes, lizards, grubs, different little bugs they can eat, and rodents. You can find Caracaras here in Florida, all the way on our west coast, as well as Mexico where they're native to in South America. They're known as Mexican eagles, and they're very good flyers. So the ones here in Florida are adapt to our warm climate, which they enjoy, and large grassy fields which is where they do a lot of their hunting. So her legs, as you can see, are very long. She's gonna use those to walk around and actually find food on the ground. Just like I said, she'll find dead bodies on the side of the road. She'll flip over rocks looking for bugs and snakes and worms, and different things she can eat. They're very opportunistic. If you look closely at her, you'll see she has a very huge bump right on her chest there. That's actually where she's storing all her food in her crop. And they have an exposed skin. They're part of the Falcon Day family that just has that perfectly beautiful pouch that's visible to people. As you can see, her wing is severely droopy. That's because it's broken. We believe she got broken by getting hit by a car while eating some of the dead animals found on the side of the road, which is part of their natural diet. Because of that wing, she can't be released in the wild, so she's gonna live with us for the rest of her life as one of our ambassador animals. Thank you guys for joining us. We hope you guys can meet Kara in real life at one of our animal ambassador shows where you can find her at our 1.30 show or our 3.30 show. I hope you all enjoyed learning about the crested Kara Kara. Now we are in the aviary, and we are going to try to find the common gallinule. They're interesting looking birds with red foreheads and bills with just a little bit of yellow on the tip. They also have white on their undertail feathers, and they have long feet, yellow feet. Let's go see if we can find them. Come on. our common gallinule in our aviary. He is called the assistant manager of the aviary. He's very bossy. He likes attacking your shoes and getting your shoelaces. You look at his long feet. Even though we like swimming, those long feet help him walk across lily pads. And that tiny but sharp little beak will help him get the insects that he likes to eat and dead plant material. 
So you just met our assistant manager. Here is the manager. Another common galanu. He is currently eating his lunch. Look for the common galanul next time you are in our aviary. C is for cat. Now, this is Grey Ghost. He is one of our feral cats. What that means is they're domestic cats, like you find in people's homes, but they live outdoors and typically avoid human contact. While the cats in your home are considered to be pets, these cats are wild. We make sure they get fed and are cared for even though they live outside. You should never touch a feral cat because they might bite or scratch you, and you should always get permission before petting a person's pet cat. I can touch these cats because they know me and trust me. I feed them, they see me every day. Just like Mike, our animal keeper, was able to touch the alligator, it's because he's been trained to handle alligators and those alligators are familiar with him because he feeds them. So now we are going to do a craft and I'm sure the cats are going to join us. Now we're ready for Crafts with Cats, starring Grey Ghost, Twin, and Handsome. Today's craft is going to be a cat. So, the supplies that you're going to need are scissors, glue, crayons, paper, googly eyes if you have them. If not, don't worry, we could just draw it on, and recycled toilet paper rolls. Remember, keep saving those rolls and keep reusing. So first, you're going to either color your paper or cut the paper to the size that you would like it so that it is going to fit on the toilet paper roll. You're gonna wrap that paper around and glue it in the back. Once you have it glued in the back, we're gonna put on the eyes. Now again, if you don't have googly eyes at home, you can just draw eyes on. And you could do it around halfway down the middle of the toilet paper roll. Two eyes. Now we need to draw on a nose and some whiskers. So we'll put a little nose right below the eyes. Draw some whiskers coming out. Now with the rest of that paper that you didn't use, you're going to cut a thin little strip that you could use for the tail. Take that thin little strip, glue it onto the back, and we are almost done. The last thing our cat needs is some ears. We're going to fold the toilet paper roll in the front, in the center, and it creates two ears. Now you have your cat. I hope you enjoyed your visit to Flamingo Gardens today and finding the different animals and plants that begin with the letter C. Please remember to take pictures of your craft and send them in so we can see what you're doing at home. Remember to visit us at flamingogardens.org and click on the education button. Also, you can visit us at Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. Please join us tomorrow when our letter will be D and start thinking of all the things that we might have around the gardens that begin with the letter D. See you tomorrow.